Hey guys, welcome to our channel Programming.app. This channel is slowly for the developers in you. It is for every web developers out there seeking for a place to learn new stuffs. You are at the right place. In this tutorial, we are going to learn Bootstrap. I hope everyone has come across this term at least once. It is one of the easiest way of making responsive web pages. Since there are already many good tutorials out there explaining the classes in Bootstrap, in this tutorial, we are going to focus completely on Bootstrap Studio. The prerequisites for this course are HTML and CSS. So, in this video, we are going to see what is Bootstrap, responsive websites, and Bootstrap Studio. Making a beautiful website that looks good and every screen size is not an easy thing. We should consider all the web browser and mobile views when it comes to creating a layout for our website and making it beautiful. Thanks to CSS framework that have made our life infinitely easier. Today, we can't even imagine code without it. Bootstrap is one such CSS framework introduced by Twitter in 2011. It helps a lot in building a responsive design on a large scale. We just have to include the relevant Bootstrap classes and it's automatically adjusts the design for different screen sizes. Greatest advantage of using Bootstrap is that we don't have to get confused what CSS to apply where. We just add the respective class names and get responsive without much effort. There are two ways to implement Bootstrap in our web page. One, we can include the Bootstrap CDN in our HTML page and other is using Bootstrap Studio. Here, I have a basic HTML structure to which I am adding the Bootstrap CDN which can be found in Bootstrap official web page. Now, I am adding a button to our page. So, here you can see the button is simple and has no styling in it. I am adding a bootstrap class to the style the button, button primary. Adds padding to the button along with background color. Primary here denotes the color blue. You can change it to various like danger for red, success for green, etc. The equivalent CSS code for styling the same button is comparatively big and you will have to define each and every attributes of the button. But using Bootstrap classes, you can make it simple. There are many such predefined classes in Bootstrap, specific to each element which you can use it in your project. But wait, if I say, you can make styling even simpler, you don't have to remember all the class names. You can add components to your web page just by dragging, no need to code everything, but can export the corresponding HTML and CSS files. Complete a web page within a minute. Who would not to want to use it? If you want to know about it, stay tuned. Until the next video.